Hey what's going on guys it's Boost HD here and today's video is going to contain a variety of gaming clips as you'll see and I'll get into those in further detail as we get further through the video. So today's topic is going to be on types of displays and there are a variety of displays you can go out and purchase. You have televisions, you have monitors and you also have projectors. So in my previous video I did a full review of the LG IPS 22 inch monitor and the link to that video will be in the description as well as I also did an unboxing for that monitor which again will be in the description and I basically talked about the main features of the monitor I also hooked it up to my PS3 to show you that it works because the monitor had HDMI input so it was, that was quite handy so all the information of the actual monitor will be was in that video so that will be in the description so the very first question I'm going to ask you is do you know what input lag is? well input lag is the time or the delay time between when you press a button on your controller uh, for example if you're playing Call of Duty or press on the PS3 you'll press the R1 button since that's the button to shoot with and then that will be the, the display the sorry the delay time between from when you press that button right up until the action takes place on the actual display and this could be quite a lengthy time if you're playing for example on a projection TV now projection TVs are probably the worst TV you can possibly get for gaming as their input lag is absolutely disgusting yeah so projectors have are notorious for having slow response times and that is because with a projector for example the amount of internals that the if even if you run it through HDMI which is quite a fast connection you have to you have to see that money, uh, that projectors have to go through a lot of condensing before the image is displayed. So when you have your your uh, your your high tech um, projector, uh, it has to go through a series of components, internals to like diffuse the light. Then the bulb has to adjust. It has to go through all the focusing, and then you have to consider all that time is is actually sped up in a way, and that is pretty much. The, the input lag, if you, if, if you like, all that, all that uh, adjustment taking place within the actual heart of the projector, that is what is causing the input lag. So that's why you can might as well rule out projection TVs now or projectors, since they have to go through all, through all that condensing, which will increase the input lag. So then we move on to just general TV, LCD and LED TVs. So you might want to go out and buy a, a massive, uh, for example, a massive Sony Bravia TV. I don't know, 40 inches. Uh, people always have the, they have the inkling or have the idea that bigger always means better. Well, in this case, bigger, in fact, means worse and smaller is better. Which might sound a bit funny at the beginning, but I'll explain why. If you think you have a, if you think if you have a large TV, the larger the TV you have, the slower the response is going to be on the, on the monitor because larger means more components to that the actual input has to work through so more components like the, like the technical components with the projector more components to work with that increases the input lag so with that in mind larger TVs are going to have an, an even larger input lag if you think about it but people that generally go out and buy large TVs if they're going to be watching you know Blu-rays, DVDs and even the general TV where input lag really wouldn't matter because you're only going to be watching that specific image at the speed that is necessary so which is about 50 milliseconds so that's not really a problem but when you're playing games however playing on a, a, a large uh, TV is, is going to be ridiculous because especially playing and this is why I've put in I've imported these uh, gaming clips because these are clips of of games that have fast fast action especially online for example so Call of Duty being a, a massive one in Battlefield so mainly first person shooters where the reaction has to be quite quick especially playing online TVs aren't really gonna you know support that so when you play on a TV the chances are if someone's having as a monitor for example they're gonna be slightly ahead and they're gonna have the first bullet on you because you're having to consider that the input lag is holding you back in a way from playing the game obviously it's not noticeable if you're used to play, I'm playing a playing on a TV that you that you already own then you're not going to you're not going to notice the input lag but if someone who's previously played on a monitor and then switches to your TV they are going to notice the input lag because that's how their eye adjusts so that's how it pretty much works and it, and vice versa if you, if you used to switch from a TV uh, to a monitor you'll see notorious differences which is mainly the reason why I switched from the Logic TV that was here but don't get me wrong smaller TVs actually handle input lag pretty well uh, and that's because 
which is going to earn some of the next question. That's because they have a very, very low response time. And that's the thing with monitors. Monitors and even some smaller TVs like the ViewSonic uh, have a very, very, very low input lag. And that's because the small monitor, 22 inches, that's pretty suitable for gameplay, if you think about it. For fast, for fast action gameplay, um, small monitors or small TVs are really, really going to work through. So a small TV would have, for example, 7 milliseconds, whereas a small monitor, which would be better than the TV, will have, say, around 5 milliseconds to 2 milliseconds. And some now even have 1 millisecond, which is absolutely crazy. So some of the uh, Dell monitors now come all the way down to uh, 1 millisecond, which is quite fantastic. So if you're playing on a monitor with 1 millisecond, you're going to be pretty much ahead of the game unless someone else has got a 1 millisecond monitor like you. So that is one massive thing to consider when you're thinking about displays. If you're playing fast action games, then you are best buying a monitor or a small TV. You don't want to have a projection TV because it's just going to spoil your gameplay. If you think you're playing online, it might not affect you if you're playing offline because it's going to be only play at the speed that you're playing at. But if you're playing online and you're a hardcore gamer, even if you're a softcore gamer, then you don't really you're not really going to benefit from buying uh, you know, a, a massive, massive TV unless you're going to be watching films or, or movies as well. But if, if you're just using the, the, the display solely for gameplay, then you're better off buying a monitor. I can guarantee you that. You will absolutely enjoy the experience much better. And the image, I don't know if most people, the, the, monitor on, uh, sorry, the image on a, a monitor is so much crisper than a TV. And that's because... Uh, monitors have a very very high pixel density so if you notice if you go and plug in your your VGA cable for example from your computer right into your TV you're going to see there's going to be a, a drop in resolution if, if, if you like the, the well the resolution will stay the same but you're going to see a massive decrease in pixel density which is going to you know kind of blur the image a bit so in a back to gaming as you can see the, the, the variety of uh, gameplay footage that I've put up shows just a, a massive range of um, different gameplay and as I've mentioned that these are fast action gameplay which would would require a monitor so pretty much the moral of the story here is if you want fast gameplay then you're better off buying a monitor if you don't really mind you're gonna be using the the display for other things then yeah you know you're, you know your fairness you're probably best having a TV so anyway guys this has been boost this has been boost HD here thank you for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and have a pleasant day Bye for now.